Hey everyone, and today we have the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. This is the real deal S22 Ultra in burgundy. It's beautiful on hand and on camera as well. And let's talk about the display. It's 6.8 inches long and it is amazing to look at. The colors are super vibrant on this thing and the things I can't wait to play games on it. It has a 120 hertz display, which we'll show here in a minute. All right, motion smoothness. And so for screen refresh rate, we have two options. The first one is at standard and do obviously give us a longer battery life at 60 hertz. And the second one, which is what we're going for today, is the adaptive, which goes up to 120 hertz. By adaptive, it means that you have a variable refresh rate. So say if you're playing Fortnite at 90 hertz, it will adjust to 90 hertz. And if you have another game at 120 hertz, it will adjust accordingly. So it's pretty nifty to have. And for the skeptics out there, this is the real deal, S22 Ultra. No photoshopping, no video manipulation, nothing. This is the real deal. Other things to know about the phone. It runs a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 for its CPU. This is the 128 gig model with 8 gigs of RAM. However, the 256 and 512 gig models have 12 gigs of RAM. So you think you have those options available for you. That's Wi-Fi 60 and 5G. So you know connectivity is gonna be quick and steady. And it runs a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. So what we're gonna do right now is find out the base temperature of the phone. And from there, we're gonna keep playing game after game after game and find out what the final temperature is like. And basically just put this phone through its paces and to its limit. So let's see what we can do. All right, that's 33.4 degrees Celsius and that's 92.1 degrees Fahrenheit. So right now we're at the Samsung Game Center and we have 57%. So let's just see how long this can last. And let's start with Genshin Impact. Right off the bat, this phone is really light and thin, but I have to say that as a person with bigger hands, you know, I'm used to holding heftier things like a gaming controller, but I guess a phone case or a gaming pad would solve that. So let's get into the game and show you the settings we have. Right, so let's just check the settings out for Genshin. Everything should be on high. Yep, everything's on high, 60 FPS, and we are good to go. So let's just jump into the abyss real quick and see how this pans out with combat. So let's take a closer look at Jean. You can see the shaders are working, you know, the lights reflecting off the metal pieces of a cape. You know, eyes are glistening and yeah, it's a she looks really good here. So let's just see how this pans out in combat. Mm, doing really well. Very minimal frame rate drops. But yeah, Genshin feels like Genshin, you know, it feels really good to play on this thing. Frame rate drops are pretty much at a minimal, but you can see them once in a while, but they're not exactly like super noticeable or anything. And the gameplay is great. Alright, let's get Genio real quick and just push him off the edge. Yep, just like that. So final thoughts on Genshin, there are little frame stutters here and there, but it's nothing to be concerned about because the game plays really well, it's really smooth, as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, I'm having a good time. You know, the foam feels a little warm right now, but the thing is, that's normal with most phones because Genshin is a very taxing game. 36.5 degrees Celsius, 97.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Could be your hands. Yeah, it could be my hands as well, but the thing is like, you know, all you players out there know that it definitely takes a toll on the phone. So, you know, it's to be expected, but nothing too alarming. Right, so Call Mobile looking up right now. It's a handsome looking game and Ghost is a handsome man. Let's check the settings real quick. Graphics and graphic quality is at very high. Frame rates at the max. Uh, Battle Royale, now nah, let's just pull out the multiplayer is the easiest. Death of Feel, anti-aliasing, blue, ragdoll, everything is going to be on. And let's just get into a game. All right, let's jump in and get some frags. Where are they at? Enemy oh. oh boy. Nice. Nice. Let's go. Change up. There we go. So yeah, COD's doing pretty well. Just like, you know, it, it will take some time to get used to the controls and anything since like the screen is so wide. But it is absolutely stunning. Look at the shaders, look at the glistening off the scope and the rifle. It looks really pretty. 
It's a damn good looking game. Oh boy. Nice. So the speakers up and everything, right? It sounds amazing. It's so loud, but it's not overpowering or anything. Speakers are at the bottom of the phone. So the thing is, if you're gonna play games like this, I honestly guess you'd be better off using Enemy headphones, caught. obviously. Enemy down. But honest, but it sounds really great. I'm gonna put the volume at the loudest, and oh my god, it is loud, but it is clear. It is so clear. Wow, that's loud. Jackie, can you hear that? Yeah, that's real loud. I gotta say, the sound is huge. It's crisp, it's clean, and it's loud. So whether you guys are playing games, watching movies, or even playing music on your phone, the loudspeakers are impressive. That is some huge sound that Samsung has put into this thing. Cod Mobile runs amazing on this phone, no complaints. You guys will definitely have to remap your controls in order to fit this massive screen size. But you guys are going to have a good looking game and you're going to have a damn good time playing on this phone. So we got Asphalt 9 Legends loaded up. It's not the most hands-on game, but... I want to see how it does graphically. We have it on the highest quality. And let's just jump into a race. All right, so before we hop into the race, let's just go here and look at how the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo looks like in the display mode. And my lord, it does it look good. Look at how the light bounces off the hood. The details, you know, wow, it's so intricate. It's got the little letterings at the back here, the boot. And yeah, let's just hop right in. So it's more hands-on. Let's just go pedal to the metal. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, it sounds really good. It sounds really big on this thing. Honestly, it doesn't matter if you win the race at this point because the S22 has definitely won my heart over this. It looks so good. The sound is huge. Oh, the graphics, God, Lord, the graphics. Asphalt runs really well. The models look great. The environment looks amazing. There's really nothing else I could say. You guys need to try this out for yourselves. All right, we are currently at 47%. Let's just check on how that phone temperature is doing. 34.9 degrees Celsius and 94.8 degrees Fahrenheit. I believe that temperature went down, wow. So it just goes to show that this phone can handle heat and dissipate it very well. Before we jump into the next game, let's talk about today's sponsor. Here at Geek Culture, we love our keyboards, especially with the all new Logitech MX Keys Mini. An elegant and functional keyboard, its ultra responsive rounded keycaps are super stable and quiet for more productivity. There are buttons to enable dictation, microphone audio control and emojis. The backlit keys illuminate when you get close and matches the lighting of the environment you're in. It lasts up to 10 days on a full charge or 5 months with the backlights turned off. To find out more about the Logitech MX Keys Mini and their latest range of products, head over to Logitech.com. Okay, with PUBG loaded up, let's just go straight into the settings. And graphics wise, we are at Ultra HD, frame rate ultra. So the thing is obviously you can't run water reflections and anti-aliasing at the same time. And I love my water reflections, so we're going to keep that on. Uh, shadows are enabled and we are good to go. Let's just get into a game real quick. And here we go. PUBG is another intensive game and as you fellas out there know, but not as intensive as Kenshin. So let's see how this thing holds up. We have the HD packs all loaded up, loaded up and everything and wow, this looks pretty damn good. Let's just enter first person real quick. Yep, hands so good. The character models look very PUBG, but in high definition. We're doing pretty well. The two times AMOLED display is really doing it for me right now. But yeah, PUBG looks like PUBG, but really clean and better. So guys, just like COD Mobile, you know, just get ready to remap your controls for all your favorite games. Let's just test out the sound real quick. Ooh, hoo, hoo. gun sounds very meaty on this thing. So yeah, there's really nothing to complain about playing this right now. So can't really zoom in that much, but the thing is you can see how well the shaders are working, you know? Everything's gleaming off the helmet just nice. And let's just join them in the firefight real quick. 
see if we can get any kills. Oh, there it was good. That was fast. Holy crap. Well, I'm dead. But yeah, this went pretty well. Like I said, you know, you do have to win the game because you already won by owning this phone. It's really good and let's just move on to the next one. Okay, we have Mobile Legends Bang Bang loaded up right now. Let's just check the settings real quick. As always, everything is on high. All right, everything's on high, except for the colorblind filter. Can't really do much about that. I'm not really colorblind. So let's just get into a game real quick and start game. But wow, this thing looks really smooth. <laughs> All right, let's jump in. Right, Nana as always. You know, for flagship phone, this thing is really carrying its weight right now. And it's honestly living up to the hype. Let's just get right in. Oh, that is smooth. All right, currently we are at 34%. This thing is really holding up pretty damn well. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. There we go. Nice. Yep, there we go. But yeah, the animations are really smooth, you know, things are going really well for me right now. And I'm having a damn good game. Uh, oh, nice. We're doing pretty well so far, if I say so myself. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's how you get greedy. And then, here we go with the burst. There we go. Nice. Push for that final towel. Yes, and we've basically won the game. Whew. Not bad, 12 minutes and we won. So final verdict for Mobile Legends, you guys are gonna love this game on this phone. It is an absolute joy playing on this thing. All right, folks, Zaggy here taking over the game here on Fortnite Mobile. Let's deploy a parachute. Just to run over our settings real quick, we are playing at 60 FPS and our quality presets here on Epic 3D resolution. Come on, 75, let's do 100. There we go. Now, unfortunately, we aren't able to play this game at 90 FPS. Epic Games has not optimized this for the Samsung S22. Though some Android devices already have this option like the Samsung S7 Tab. So, hey, who knows? We might be able to see this game run on 90 FPS in the future. Now, I am getting some frame drops here, but we are hitting around the 45 to 60 FPS mark. Get some weapons here. Yeah. You know what? I will just be very happy if I can get just one kill. I'm a very simple man. I gotta admit that the mobile version does look pretty good. You are having a huge map and you are really getting very good details, even in the horizon. Now I do not have big of a hands like Zinio over here, but with that said to each his and her own, right? So I feel that this phone is pretty comfortable in the hands, to be honest. Going through some little tests here on my own in terms of texture pops and things like that, but it's so minuscule. So you are getting very smooth frame rates here, including the Wi-Fi 6E that we have on this phone. It is making a significant difference. We are using a Wi-Fi 6E router as well. So connections here are very smooth. It did take a while for us to find the game though. So we are getting some frame drops here, getting down to about third, very high 30s, low 40s here. But I do feel the phone heating up a little bit. And if you're one with sweaty palms, you might, you might be in a disadvantage because of the heat. By the way, Spider-Man was here. Oh, nope, 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 not today, not today. Okay, I'm satisfied already. This is great. Nope, nope, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Again, I think what Xenia has said, yeah, the button mapping needs to be adjusted here. Oh, cool. Oh, no. Oh, wow. That was a sordid mistake. Oh shoot, no, no, oop, oop, get up, get, get, oh, why did he like do that? No. Oh, that was such a bad mistake. 
That was stupid. Oh, so I'm not so good at Fortnite after all, huh? Oh, see, so yeah, we're down at 50%. Man, Fortnite is taking a lot of energy there. Hey, I placed five, okay, guys? Oh, okay. That's that ain't so bad. That's not so bad, yeah. That's because I think we also went into a lobby that was very little people. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's just uh, check the temperatures here. Where the CPU should lie. 40 degrees there, thereabouts. 39. So we're getting about 100 degrees Fahrenheit there. That is drastic. But man. if you feel the screen right now, see that? It's 42. Yeah, that's, that's pretty hot. All right, so with all the games done, we're gonna run a CPU benchmark test using Geekbench 5, which is available for both iOS and Android devices. So with Geekbench 5, it gives us an overall score, which we can use against other scores from mobile devices last year. So we'll see how the S22 Ultra compares to those. So let's run the benchmark real quick. Right, and the benchmark tests are done, and we have our final scores. We have 1215 for single core, and we have 3303 for multi-core scores. So now, obviously, you know, things will change over time. But at the time of publishing this video, these are the scores that we have. So the S22 Ultra's performance for single core actually beats out the Microsoft Surface Duo 2, who scores at 1056, and the Google Pixel 6, which is at 999 and even beats out its predecessor, the S21 Ultra. And moving on to the multi-core scores, it still beats out the Microsoft Duo 2, which stands at 3261, and the Asus ROG Phone 3, which stands at 3220. So even though it's kind of close, the S22 Ultra wins at the end. But I'll say again, these are the scores that we have at the time of publishing this video. Things will definitely change along the line. So we can only hope the S22 Ultra stays triumphant in the near future. So there you have it, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Is it good for gaming? Yeah, dude, it's amazing for gaming. You guys can see the quality it puts out. You guys won't have any issues with this phone. You guys are going to enjoy long gaming sessions with this 5,000 mAh battery. You've seen us play game after game after game without the phone overheating and I think that says something. But one thing to note is that when the battery hits 20%, obviously you'll see your performance drop and we can only assume that the phone is trying to manage the power output through all of its different applications and processes. And that's all we have for the S22 Ultra. Let us know your thoughts about the phone and if you want us to play more games or if you have any other questions, let us know in the comment section down below. If you want to learn more about the phone, check out our other Samsung videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. It helps us out a lot. And don't forget to follow us on all of our socials. This is Zinio signing off.